Good morning, church. It is good to spend this time with you again on Thursday morning. I hope that you're doing well and enjoying this bit of fall weather we've had come through. It's uh, certainly glorious outside. That song I started off with is one if you were involved in youth group over the last 30, 40 years. You probably sang a few times or if you're in a, um, a worship experience where you've done the type of music as that, that uh, it's probably familiar to you. Lord, be glorified. It's based on um, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. It says, whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, the power forever and ever. Amen. Well, in Peter, this is written about that we should really look at everything we say and do that's to honor God. We should do things to honor God in all, all of our lives. This idea of glorifying God sometimes is a, is a hard word to understand because we don't use it very much in our everyday language, but we talk about bringing God glory. It's really talking about praising God and lifting God's name and ascribing strength and power to God that, that truly belongs to God that, and putting ourselves in a right relationship with God, this idea of glorifying God through the works that we do and the things that we say and the songs that we sing. And that's what this particular song is about. It was written by a man named Bob uh, Kilpatrick. And Bob Kilpatrick is a contemporary person. He lives in Fair Oaks, California, and is a composer of this very popular worship song of our modern age called Lord Be Glorified. It's also called In My Life, Lord Be Glorified, which is the first line of it. Well, Bob Kilpatrick is a radio uh, personality who's had the radio syndicated radio show Time Out with Bob Kilpatrick for well over 30 years. Uh, Kilpatrick is a record producer who's worked with well-known artists such as Randy Stonehill, Sarah Groves, Phil Keggy, and uh, Noel Paul Stuckey. He's the author of uh, many different books, um, notably The Art of Being You, um, Bob Kilpatrick is an ordained minister in the Assembly of God Church and is a member of the Assemblies of God Hall of Honor, which I'm not sure what that means, but that's a, a distinction that he has received. He also is a prolific singer and songwriter and guitarist and recording artist who down through the years has released over 28 albums. So Bob Kilpatrick's a name maybe you haven't heard of before, but I bet you've heard this song. And when he was asked about the song and how he wrote it or what was the inspiration for it, Bob Kilpatrick wrote this. He said, one evening at my mother-in-law's house, I got the idea of writing a private prayer song for Cindy, who's his wife, and myself to sing before we would go on stage. While the rest of the family was in the family room, I sat alone in the living room with my guitar and then my Bible and the song, In My Life, Lord Be Glorified, began to come. I had composed all of the melody and most of the counterpoint when Cindy came in. I told her about what I was writing and that it would be just for the two of us. Well, Cindy strongly suggested to me that I sing it publicly. I think she knew from the start that other people would want to sing it too. I've not told this story before publicly, but a few months after writing the song, I was ministering with Pastor Jack Hayford. We were sitting together on the platform at a conference, and after Cindy and I sang the song, I returned to my seat next to Jack. He leaned over and said to me, that song has it. And I don't know exactly what it is, but that song's got it, and it's going far, according to Jack. And so we, we sing this song today. We sing it worshiping uh, to worship God. We lift it up uh, as a praise chorus. And so I'd like to sing that for you. I encourage you to sing along. It's actually six different verses. It's in my life, Lord, be glorified. In our church, Lord, be glorified. In our lives, Lord, be glorified. In our songs, Lord, be glorified. In our work, Lord, be glorified. And in our worship, Lord, be glorified. I encourage you to sing along.
mind be glorified in our lives, Lord, be glorified today. What's my prayer for you that in your life that God is glorified? The things you say and do and the way you have relationships with one another, that others will know that you are loved by God and they can be assured the way you treat them, the way you take care of them, that they know they are loved as well. Go in peace and have a beautiful day.